Hey everyone, it's Ksenia from The Designist and I'm thrilled to come to you with our new tutorial. It's essential and simple as usual, because today we'll make an eye-catching mock-up, a device mock-up. They are a must-have for any creative, so we've decided it will be good to craft something of the kind. The image we'll work with is this very iPad Pro. Anytime you set to a mock-up, it's vital to choose the right source image. The image should be of good quality, bright, crisp, and in high resolution, of course. I have got mine on Moose, a free photo project by Icons8. Let's open it in Photoshop and create an editable smart object with a screen. To do so, pick the rectangular marker tool and set the size of a real iPad Pro screen. Get it? I'll call the layer screen and duplicate it. Call the copy black, we'll need it a bit later. Set a different color for the screen and remove the strokes if you have any. Now, as you see, the screen has rounded corners. That's why we'll recreate the same on our shapes. You need properties panel, which you can find in the Windows drop-down menu. It's really easy. You can set it by eye. 20 is far too much. 8. Yeah, 8 is good. Now, now we convert both layers to a smart object to transform them. And here we should make them fit the screen in the photo. So let's select them. Click Command T to select Free Transform tool and using the Distort option try to scale the shapes to fit properly. Oh, that looks better! Switch off the screen layer and make sure that nothing shows through the black smart object. Here we have some mismatch, so use Free Transform tool, Distort, again to cover it. Ok, now let's copy the color of the screen border and paste it to the black layer in the smart object, so it was completely the same as the one of the screen. And everything that's left to do is to use Gaussian Blur, as the edges should not be too sharp, it's unnatural and doesn't fit the rest of the photo. Switch on the screen layer and make it a little smaller. It should be similar to the one from our photo. Accordingly, we will apply Gaussian Blur to this layer, because as we see the photo, the edges must not be so sharp. They risk making your work look unrealistic. But we will set a smaller radius. 0.6 pixels is Perfect. Mm, yeah, that's for fine realistic result. Let's see how it works. For this purpose, I've prepared an image from Unsplash. Just let's apply it to the smart object. Important thing apply a clipping mask inside the smart object to keep the corners. Rounded. I don't want the photo to look glued above the screen, so I recommend you to set 94% opacity and it will look slightly dimmer than bright objects on the table, just like in real life. That's it. Edit the screen via this smart object. You know how? Hope you've done it easily and now have a new mockup in your toolbox. If you need help or advice, just let us know! And don't hesitate to like and share the video. And subscribe to the designer's channel as we have so much to tell and show.